Mrs. Robin tutorials. In this session, we are going to analyze a connecting rod for modal analysis. We will start by double clicking on modal module of ANSYS workbench. We are going to compare the results by using three different material. You must be aware that connecting rod can be made from different materials. So I'll go to engineering data sources, general materials. The first material that I'm choosing is aluminum alloy. This is used for day-to-day -day applications when the connecting rod is concerned. So the amount of load that it can bear will be lesser. The next material is stainless steel, which is a medium grade application. And the last one is titanium alloy that we are going to use. This is obviously used where the application demands the use of high loading. So we will go to project and update project. Next, I'll go to geometry and right click, import geometry. I already have the connecting rod made with me. So I have imported the material. Next, I'll go to model and double click on it. First, go to geometry connecting rod. The first material that I am going to associate is aluminium alloy. I'll go to mesh, I'll go to sizing and change it to fine and update. This lecture is not about the meshing types, hence, I am not discussing about the type of mesh that can be used. You can check out the video on meshing wherein you will find various types of meshes that can be used. Time and again, in many videos, I have already explained you about various meshing types. So I'm not going for any specific meshing type over here. So I will take up the simple fine mesh and I'll give it here. You can see this is a tetrahedral type of mesh, as you can see from the shape. I'll go to model and I'm going to insert Fix support at this end, apply. So that's the only boundary condition that we give for modal analysis. Next, I'll go to solution and directly click on solve. Now, this calculates for six modes. When you click on analysis settings, you will find maximum modes to find as six. If you want, you can increase this number or you can decrease it based on your requirement. The default value of ANSYS is 6 and that's what I'm giving it to. So this is the solution that we have obtained. You can see here 6 modes have been obtained. These are the 6 frequencies. I'll click over here and then right click select all. I will right click and create mode shape results. So all the deformations have been obtained. I'll click on solve once again. This is the first deformation obtained for aluminium alloy. Where the frequency is 977.71 Hz, the maximum deformation is 235.8 mm. You can animate and check the motion of it. Next, I'll go to total deformation 2, which is for the mode 2. The frequency is 1677 Hz. You can see here and here in the table. Both the places are just mentioned. The deformation is 241.87 mm. You can animate and see how the motion takes place. Then we'll go to mode 3 where the frequency is 4286.6 Hz and the maximum deformation is 324.9 mm. You can animate and check. For mode 4, the maximum frequency is 5527.4 Hz and the maximum deformation is 235.5 mm. For the fifth mode, the frequency is 7929.1 Hz and the maximum deformation is 206.02 mm.
this is how it will vibrate under this type of frequency and the last mode 6 has a total deformation of 214.06 mm and the frequency is 11,403 Hz and the maximum frequency is 11,413 Hz so this is as far as aluminium alloy is concerned next we will change the material to stainless steel and solve once again When you click here, you will find the maximum deformation and the frequency is 962.9 Hz. Now the pattern of the motion for the connecting rod for these six modes will be the same. And it is the same for any other object because that is how it is supposed to vibrate under that mode or that natural frequency. The value of natural frequency will change and the deformation that is obtained for the body is going to change. It will depend on the material, it will depend on the body that you are using. It will also depend on the loading conditions where you have fixed it or if you applied some load on it. So accordingly you will get different values of natural frequency but you will get the same pattern of its motion. Say it could be a motion of this sort from side to side or up down. This is a yaw motion of the body. When you go for the third one, you find a roll motion of the body. When you go for the fourth one, this is another type of motion of the body. Now, this one, if you say it is yaw, then the first one is pitch and the third one is roll. So, these are the basic three motions that you see. And the rest of it just follows. And you can see sometimes sinusoidal motion or a first kind of motion. So this is what generally happens on the body. So accordingly you can just click on each of them and you will find the different values of deformation and frequency for the connecting rod using stainless steel as a material. This is the sixth one where the total deformation is 127.97 mm and the frequency is 11,241 Hz. Last we are going to use the material of titanium alloy and solve it once again. When you go to total deformation for the first one, first mode, you will see the frequency is 881.55 Hz. The total deformation maximum value is 182.62 mm. So accordingly you can just check for the rest of them. I will just go for the first and the last one. You can see for the last one, the value of frequency is 10,288 Hz and the maximum deformation is 165.74 mm. If you animate, you will find the same sort of motion of the body which you have found already for aluminium alloy and stainless steel. So I have just made a comparative analysis of the various modes of the various materials that I have used and I want to find out the frequency and deformation chart over here so that we can just figure out that what are the natural frequencies of a particular material which should not be attained by the body such that this kind of a deformation can be stopped. If you happen to reach this kind of frequency, you would at least know what deformation is going to be obtained. So, in both the ways, you are ready for the worst case. Now, apart from this, if you observe, the natural frequency is highest for aluminium alloy, the first natural frequency, that is 977.71 Hz. For steel, it is 962.9 and for titanium alloy, it is 881.55. So, this could be reached faster, this will reach later on. So, if you check the pattern, it is obviously that you can see that aluminium alloy has higher frequency as compared to all of them. So it is just that the natural frequency value is higher means it will take time to reach that value. But also if you observe the deformation value now. For highest natural frequency the deformation is also quite high. 
but if you observe that the difference between the natural frequency is not too much between aluminium alloy and stainless steel yet the deformation difference is quite high so if i have to choose i would preferably choose stainless steel though the natural frequency is lower which can be attained faster but the deformation will be lesser and so applies for the first and the last one and accordingly you can see for the middle values as well when you check titanium alloy and you compare it with aluminium alloy you would obviously prefer titanium alloy over aluminium alloy when you compare stainless steel and aluminium alloy you would see that the value of deformation for stainless steel is less as compared to titanium alloy so if you want lesser deformation at a particular natural frequency you would go for stainless steel but as i told you at the start itself aluminium alloy first of all it's cheaper and secondly it is generally used for day to day applications titanium being very costly and it is going to give you more resistance and its life is also very high so it is used for applications which require a lot of durability and the amount of force which is applied in the connecting rod is more so in that cases you can go for titanium alloy that is high end applications for middle end applications or some medium applications you can go for stainless steel but if cost is not the problem then we would definitely prefer stainless steel over aluminium alloy for even day to day applications but if at all you don't want to go for stainless steel aluminium alloy can be safely used for any day to day application so i have given you a comparative chart here so that you can just know that cost wise or durability wise or deformation frequency wise everything you can analyze and as per your requirement you can choose the material so that's how you analyze a connecting rod for its model analysis and given different materials you should choose the material which is most preferable for your case so with this i end the session i hope you have understood how to analyze a connecting rod for model analysis if you have any doubt please write to me in the comment section don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon for latest video updates see you in the next session thank you